Well, welcome back to Python Scripting for GIS Applications. This is a class at the University of Alaska Fairbanks, and it's spring semester 2013. From last time, your assignment was to create a script that would generate random points near Fairbanks, Alaska. So basically, our x-coordinate will vary in longitude between negative 147 and negative 148 and our y-coordinate will vary in latitude between 64 degrees and 65 degrees. So you could run this in arc map, but I just, to do something different, elected to run it as a standalone script. So the first thing I'm going to do is import the OS module, and then I'll create a log file with write access. And that log file will be called create points, random points .txt. And then I'll print to my Python shell, importing the ArcPy module. And then this will take a long time to import the ArcPy module, because basically when you import the ArcPy module, you import all the ArcGIS geoprocessing tools. But once that's been imported, then we'll set our workspace to our test geo database, and then uh, print to my shell, workspace is set. And then after we do that, we'll start our ArcPy geoprocessing. So we'll set overwrite output to true, just in case I've run this script before and the point feature class already exists. And then we'll run the create feature class tool, and we'll create a feature class in our geo database called random points. And then after this tool is executed, what I'll do is use the ArcPy.getMessages function to print the messages from that geoprocessing tool to my log file. And then we'll add a field using the add field tool, and that field will be called ran ID, and it'll be short integer. And then once again, we'll write the output from the geoprocessing tool to our log file. And then a backslash n, backslash n would just put a new line in our log file. Okay, so then we will print to our Python shell, creating insert cursor. We'll import the random module. We'll create our insert cursor for our feature class and for these two fields. So for one field, ran ID, and the other one is for the shape field. And then we'll go from one up to, but not including 101, X will be a random value ranging between negative 148 and negative 147. Y will be a random value between 64 and 65. And then we insert point, which will be 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 100. And then the random X and the random Y as the point coordinates. And then we're all done with our loop, so we'll delete our insert cursor and then close our log file. Okay, so I can run that, so run module. So the print statements go to my Python shell, importing ArcPy module, this will take a long, long time. And then eventually the ArcPy module is all imported. And then workspace is set, creating an insert cursor, all done, creating 100 random points, and close the log file. So then let's look at this log file, which has the result from the get messages uh, function in ArcPy. Okay, so here's the log file, and it's basically the messages generated by each geoprocessing tool. So the first geoprocessing tool was the create feature class tool, and it executed, and it basically displayed all the messages generated by that tool, and then the next tool was the add field tool. And then we get all the messages generated by that geoprocessing tool. Okay, in this session I want to teach you about a cursor called the update cursor. And it can be used to either update existing fields or to basically select 
um, existing rows and delete those existing rows. So in this example, what we're going to do is we've got land cover polygons and we'll update this field called edge class as a function of the shape area divided by the shape length. And just to be different, I'll do this as a standalone Python script totally out of ArcGIS. Okay, in this example, I'll run the script as a standalone Python script. And the first thing we'll do is import the ArcPy module. And that will take quite a while because it imports all the geoprocessing tools that are inside ArcGIS. And then the second step will be we'll define our workspace, which in this case is just a file geo database, and then we'll make a variable for our input polygon feature class. And then we'll make update cursor. So arcpy.update cursor. And here I put a backslash as a line continuation character. So the continuation of this command would be the name of the feature class we want to update and then in a list, the fields that we're going to work with. So in this case, we're going to work with fields shape length, shape area, and a new field that's empty right now called edge class. And then basically what we'll do is loop through each polygon and compute edge class. So for each row in our search cursor, so from when we made our search cursor, this will be a field index 0, field index 1, and field index 2. So our shape index is going to be field 1 divided by field 0. So in this case, it will be area divided by polygon perimeter. And then once we have our shape index computed, it's basically if it's greater than 1500, we're going to have a class low edge all the way up to if it's above 500, it'll be high. Otherwise, it'll be very high. So these are just the rules in our if, else if, else if, else statement. And then once we've computed the shape index as either being low, medium, high, or very high, then we'll set that field to that value and then save it by using the dot update row function in our cursor. And then we're all done, so we'll unlock our cursor, and then we'll move the cursor pointer. Okay, so we run this. So we have the print messages in our Python shell. Importing ArcPy module, please wait. And then creating the update cursor for our land cover polygons in our geo database and then updating the edge class field for each polygon row. It loops through every polygon row and then we're all done. And then we can look at the result in ArcMap. Okay, so I've symbolized each polygon using the edge class field and we can see that the very high edge class have uh, lots of perimeter in relation to the shape area and the low edge class have less perimeter in relation to the polygon area. Okay, so that's search cursors. And so we've gone through three cursors. Insert cursors would be if you want to create a new table or feature class. Update cursors is what I just went over, is if you want to update an existing table or feature class. And then search cursor would be if you want to have read-only access to a table or feature class. Okay, so if you go to the NRM638 website, I've got this week's assignments for you. And your assignment will be to solve three out of several choices for your scripting problems. And you should do your Python scripting in ArcMap because it's a lot faster um, to use ArcPy in this Python window in ArcMap because you got the help and if you have any syntax errors you know immediately the correct syntax from this help.